glass Gonna play all day, hope this feeling will last Just go dreaming in the summer sun Every throw's a new adventure, everyone's... What's up everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. You guys saw me shoot a full round with MVP discs over at the Ballantine Temp course with a goal of shooting a 1000 rated round. I believe I wound up shooting like 980 something. So I'm out here at Sugar Creek Disc Golf Course for redemption. I've got a whole bag of just my main bag. So we're gonna see if we can shoot better than that 980 something with my real bag. We're gonna go two off one, but then one shot on every hole. Hole one is a 300 foot par three. I've got this first run Athena in the bag. See if we can get that straight pushing forehand. That's gonna be the one. If we get a little skip, that's hard. It's gonna be pin high, we got a putt. Also got the F5 here. See if we can get a nice turning backhand to go up there. All right, that kicked out of bounds. So we're definitely playing the Athena. Let's get after it. We did put the Athena inside the circle. We got kind of a, I don't know, we must've hit something. I thought it would have skipped more. I'm putting okay with the pixels, first putt of the day. No way. Dude, ever since the pixels have gone in, I am just cash money on the greens. This disc is worth all the hype. It is such a good putter. Hole two, 250, par three. I've really been enjoying the dead straight flight of this patent pending Neutron Ion. Also, obviously, has some cool style points being a really old run of the Ion. We just needed to go mostly straight with a slight fade at the end. That should be ideal. Beat the tree. Skip. We got a little kick to the left. I think it's going to be a similar range to hole one's putt, but that's a shot I'm very, very happy with. All right, we got a little bit of a root here. Kind of kicked a short circle two look at the birdie. off the cage feel confident even in that range with the pixels just need to give it a little more sauce i think we can start hitting some of those circle two looks today this is a hole you really would like to birdie we've got some tough ones coming up later in the round but one down through two can't complain hole three we got a split fairway comment below are you going left are you going right i'm gonna try and go up the right side with this stable Glowflex meteor we want a touch of flip up, but I need a fade to the left at the end. Fade. Just absolutely park it. Are you going left? You going right? Comment below. That's good. That was disgusting. <laughs> this is a really good birdie to get if you can get it. It's not exactly parked, but we are in fact in circle one. Pixel time. Corner pocket, two down through three. I do not get this hole very often. I almost always hit that tree directly in the middle of the fairway, the one that splits the fairway. So that's a pretty great feel good birdie for me early in the round. <clears throat> so I've been toying around with trying some, you know, I love my Sexton Firebirds, one of my favorite all time discs, but they are board flat. They don't go super far. So I'm messing around with this Saint Pro and the gold line plastic because it's got a little more dome, but a similar flight characteristic. I'm hoping for holes like this where I really need to get right. I can get similar stability, but a little more glide. And literally like that. Get over there. I think that's about all you need to do. That, that should be a good shot. Three down through four. And I really like this gold line Saint Pro um, in complement to the Firebird line. The Firebird's going to come up quite a bit short, and although it flies essentially the same, because this has just a good bit of dome on it, we're going to get that push. So instead of coming up, you know, 30 short, I actually went like 15 long. So this is the perfect complement to my Firebird. All right, hole five, 350, par three. It's a si one of the signature holes out here. The basket is honestly controversially raised. So I need you guys to let me know what you think about the controversially elevated basket. Then we've got the Star PFN Excalibur in hand. This is a new addition to the bag. I just got to hammer one left and see if she's stable enough. Oh, it's not a great line. That's not going to get it done. Well, we're in circle 
deep circle one slash circle two, it's gonna be a scary putt. I hate to do this because I'm on a, I'm on a heater right now and I, I wanna keep it rolling, but this is a deadly putt. So I'm just gonna lay one up and then we'll gun one and see what would what could have been. So that's the layup. Perfect. Let's see what would have happened. Yeah, it would have been a bad decision to go for that putt. I'm glad I laid up. So we're gonna maintain our score. I believe that's three down through five. So this is what I meant by controversially raised basket. I'm about 5'11", maybe six feet with shoes on, and I cannot drop in this disc, and I'm only like one foot away. So comment below what you guys think about baskets that are this elevated. I've seen people miss this exact putt because putting up at this angle is just so extremely awkward. Uh-oh, Sh short king problems. Ooh. Hole six, 300, par three. I think this hole plays a little bit shorter than that. I've got the gold line St. Pro in hand, which is kind of like a half swing. Maybe give this bad girl an ace run. That was a terrible shot, but we're going to see if we can knock down that circle two putt. This is probably my worst drive ever on this hole, but that's going to make for a potential fire highlight putt. I'm not even going to risk the bogey by going through the gap. We're just going to try and knock the hyzer down. Oh, it's so bad. This is another hole you really don't want to par. I'm getting the hard ones and missing the easy ones. All right, unfortunately, three down through six. That's still a pace we're happy with. Hole seven, 350. Again, another hole that probably plays a bit less than that. We got another new addition to the bag. We got the patent pending Neutron Tesla. Let's see if we can hit the Simon line up the middle here. That should be perfect. Swing. That was a really good disc choice. We should be in the circle. Tesla's kind of fire. All right, probably just inside circle one, maybe 33 feet exactly. Ah, oh, gonna have to settle for another par. This Tesla shot was really nice. We just needed like 10 feet more distance. Awkward par putt. Thankfully, straddling is helpful. We can still shoot a thousand rated, even just being three down through seven. We're just going to have to pick up four more birdies along the way and no bogeys. Bo bogeys are going to absolutely kill this goal today. Pull eight, 365, par three. We're going to do the patent pending tantrum on the flick. If I just flick it straight, it should go straight most of the way and fade up towards the pin. Swing. It's going to be pin high. Same distance we've been putting from all day, right around 30 feet. Yeah, just as I expected, right around. Eh, this one's a little bit closer, but still, like this is the range that separates pros from people like you and people like me. Is they make these? This is this is questionable for me. Oh, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. I need to put them a little bit closer. Not knocking down those 30 footers today. Hole nine, 335 par three. It's time to execute some birdies. We've got the first run Athena in bag and I have it in the bag. Four holes like this. I need to just punch it hard and flat. Let the Athena do what it does. And just skip up to the pin. That's That was really short. All right, we've come up 40, 40 short again. Needed a little more disc than the Athena, I guess. So we'll put it on a little more height. I need to start getting aggressive here. We need to get back on pace. Oh. All right. Back nine. We need four birdies to hit a thousand rated, I believe. I expect myself, I don't expect myself to make all those long putts, but I do expect myself to get a little bit closer off the tee. So that's where my frustration is, is more of my tee shots more than my putting. So I've made all these important kind of par putts but usually I'm a little better off the tee and the front nine here is where you really need to score. Back nine here is absolutely brutal. So we're gonna have to really pedal to the metal and shred to shoot a thousand rated today. Hole 10, 330, par three, we've got the F5 in hand. 
We're just going to get a little bit of a hyzer flip and then fade to the left at the end. It's going to get to the end of the tunnel, which is good. It's a good start. Probably not in birdie range, but we certainly won't be bogeying. All right, that five put us in, basically in layup range. If you don't land on the right spot in the screen, you've almost got no look. So we're just gonna try and get up and down for a par here. Up on the platform, that'll play. All right, put it up on the platform here. The tree's looking nice, it's all, it's all blooming. Looks great. We got elevated par. Three, three down still, this is getting pretty monotonous here. So this is where things get pretty sketchy. This is a brutal hole, hole 11, par three, 330. Normally I would forehand it through the gap and play for par, but we need to get birdie. So we're gonna try out the F5, hit the gap, let it turn, park it, tap in the two. Miss the gap, get up there anyway. <laughs> layup for the easy par. We'll change a plan there, but that'll work. All right, we're in pixel layup range. Just tap in the par. We have a few easy birdies coming up. Thousand rate is still possible. <laughs> we gotta hit a birdie soon here. <sighs> Go in. Oh, that would have been magical. All right, hole 11 is one I'm actually happy to be tapping in the par. There's a few holes coming up that are just simple hyzers. It's time to execute or watch our thousand rated dreams float away. Hole 12, 285. I think we're gonna go back to the Flex Glow Meteor. We can go left, we can go right, we can go center. The biggest gap is for sure in the middle. The hyzer's probably the play, but I think I can get the Meteor through there, turning slightly to the right. Yep. All right, we hit the tree that's pin high. We should have a birdie look. It's time to man up and make a putt. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <It's like half. laughs> 30, 33 footer yet again. Come on. I'm going to aim for the band. I'm not going to miss low. Time for Big Dill to man up, make some putts, and shoot a thousand rated round. Come on, dog. Let's go. Hole 13 is a par three, 275 feet. We're gonna go to the Athena. We could go up the middle again and be a savage, but we did that on the last hole. So we're gonna go with the hyzer on this one. Need another birdie. Skip. Oh, I hit a tree. So unfortunate. All right, we gotta just keep battling. We need to get up and down for a par here. I feel like we only need a couple more birdies and we'll still be sniffing the thousand rated round. Or just make that. Nope, sure. Perfect. Tap in the par, call it a day. Hole 14 is a 285 foot par three. We're gonna go to the F5. We need to punch this gap and then it has to turn a little bit to the right. If I can hit the gap, this is gonna be the perfect disc. Oh, wow, that was so lucky. Go in. All right, that was the luck we needed. I've never to this hole, but we have a look today. Positive vibes bring positive results. All right, I have never to hole 14 before. We did not throw a great line, but we got rewarded with a birdie. It's going to be five down through 14. I don't know what a thousand rated is. I'll have to check in the editing process based on the recent tournament that was played here. Um, but I think we're still on pace. It should be around seven or eight, should be a thousand. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Hole 15, par three, 315 feet. We're gonna go back to the tantrum. I just need to pound it flat. We're going up the middle. It's the only way we're gonna have a birdie look. The hyzer just takes too much distance. All right, we're gonna have a chance. I have no idea how good or bad that is. We're probably gonna probably gonna wind up with another 30 footer, but, but we'll see where we're at. Man, a circle two bomb would go so hard right now. I'd know it would put us on track of what we need score wise. 45 feet out, come on. Aim high, not even gonna jump in. Darn. 
All right, we got a couple more birdie ops. We're probably gonna need a birdie out to shoot a thousand. 389 feet, par three, hole 16, tantrum. It's gonna be short. Oh, no skip off the grass. All right. The last two holes are good birdie opportunities if we get both. It's gonna be like either 999 or like 1002. So I'll we'll have to see how this plays out. This is really my first time on a true scramble today. I've got the swarm here. Straddle out, put it on some Annie, tap this one out. Go in. <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long comeback. I almost chucked it in. It's all fun and games till so you have to make the forty five foot comebacker to save the round. No, oh, no. I think that kills our thousand rated dreams for the day. Tapping out our first bogey of the day. Should have had my berg in the bag. I, I shouldn't have thrown the swarm there. <laughs> I don't have my berg today. That's that's what went wrong there. Hole 17, 307, Athena, flat, hit the gap. It's probably two left, but it's putting. Last hole of the day, hole 18, 315 feet, low ceiling. Time to ace with the Gorgon. Did it. Oh, that was a sweet line. The Gorgon is still the most fun disc of 2024. Don't at me. That had a chance of going in if it wasn't for this stinking tree. All right, we cannot miss short. Just put it up in there, see what happens. Up in the air? Oh, missed it short. That's frustrating. All right, I shot around five or six down. I will refer to the last PDGA event here to decide what I actually shot ratings wise. I actually have no idea. It could be 950, could be 990, could be 1001. We'll have to go see how the ratings looked at the last event here. I shot four down here once, and I think it was 970 or 980, something like that. So the ratings here are pretty good because they have some really tough holes that can blow up your round. But it was fun to come out here and shoot and keep score. If you guys like watching me play score rounds and um, see how the rounds rate out, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.